Now, some of you are new here and may be wondering, what is this map file he's talking about and why do I need it? At its core, a map file in your Power Commander is a collection of one or more two-dimensional tables of adjustments. One axis is throttle position divided into increments, say 0 to 5 percent, all the way up to 100 percent. The other axis is engine speed or RPM, and divided into ranges starting from 0, then can be 250, 500, 1000, and so on. This can be in 250 or 500 RPM increments, depending on your map. Each cell in this grid represents a point in your engine's operation, like cruising at 30 percent throttle and 4000 RPM, or full throttle at 10,000 RPM. The values in those sol cells are the percentage of fuel to add or subtract relative to the stock ECU's command. They can be positive, negative, or zero. This can also have a matching set of timing alteration tables to adjust the spark advance. The values in those cells are the actual number of degrees of timing to add or subtract relative to the stock ECU's base data. They can be positive, negative, or zero, just like fuel changes. There are a few key terms to know. A DinoJet pre-configured map is a starting point the DinoJet or a professional tuner has created for a specific set of vehicle modifications. For example, there's a base map for a 2023 Kawasaki ZX-6 with a Yoshimura exhaust and a high flow filter. A base map doesn't guarantee perfection, but it gets you very close to where you need to be. A custom map is a map that has been refined for your exact machine. Maybe your bike has a different exhaust or your engine runs hotter because you race on the track on hot days. A custom map takes these into account and is often created on a dynamometer using wideband O2 sensor data to gather the air-fuel ratio in real time that is specific for your exact pairing of injectors, coils, and plugs, etc. Remember, all these vehicles are mass assembled, so the same map for two exact bikes on the showroom floor may require little tweaks to make them run the same. All right, next, a base table. When you view a map in PowerCore as a consumer, you'll notice that the fuel table shows zeros unless it has been addressed by tuning outside of DinoJet. That's because regulations keep the positive and negative fuel changes in the exposed fueler timing tables to plus and minus 15% and plus and minus eight degrees respectively. So when you tweak a cell, you're telling the PC6 to add or more subtract from the background base table accessible by tuning dealers with Kara and ARP on file. Per cylinder and per gear tables, on some engines, cylinders may behave slightly differently. A twin might run hotter on one cylinder than the other. The PC6 lets you address that by having separate tables for each cylinder. And if you wire in a gear position, you can have different maps for each gear. This is useful on high performance bikes where the load on the engine varies by gear, or you might spend a lot of time in higher gears and you need to cater the fueling to prevent detonation there. Maps live on your computer and are sent to the PC6 as a .p6m extension. The previous Power Commander generation, the PC5, used a file that ended in .pvm. It is possible to convert these older map files into a P6M file to work with the PC6 inside PowerCore, if you have Karen ARP on file, of course. It's also worth noting here that these map files are different type from DJT files, where tune files specifically designed for our PowerVision device, which flashes the ECU. Each Power Commander 6 can store two of these maps internally by enabling the map switch feature. Switching maps only changes which table is active, it does not overwrite the other map. That makes it easy to have a track map and a street map available at the flip of a switch. Now that you understand what maps are, the next question is, how do you get the right one? Loading or the wrong map can lead to poor running engine, so selecting a suitable map is essential. DinoJet makes this easy with its online tune library. After you've installed your PC6, you can download maps tailored to your machine. First, go to dinojet.com slash tunes. Select our product, in this case, Power Commander 6 and Motorcycle. Let's snag a, a, a 2008 Yamaha R6. You can even enter the R6 to filter down to your vehicle. Select the Power Commander 6 on the radio button and find those tunes. You'll see that we have four applicable maps for this vehicle. And they're designated between their year ranges. So an 08, 09 has a specific nap, as well as a 10 to 16 model. So we'll snag one with uh, for our 2012 vehicle. And it will prompt you to log in when you try to download. Enter your login credentials. The same credentials you used here are the ones that you used to buy the product are the ones you would log in with here.
It'll auto-populate our previous selection. We were looking for a map for a 2008 Yamaha R6. And now we're availed the download. This will download and notice that it saves it as a .p6m file extension. In your downloads folder, you can click to open this map. Notice that we have our solution. We actually have our Power Commander connected. It will pop up as a .dsln. The map file is the p6m that we just opened. The solution is the complete memory of the Power Commander 6 that will let you perform calibrations, uh, configure for accessories like quick shifters or auto tune, whereas the map is just a map that will send and only write the table data that you see here on the screen. You'll notice that maps are often labeled with the modifications they're intended for. Say a 2024 Yamaha YZ450F with a stock exhaust and stock intake. Choose the one that matches your hardware as closely as possible. But what if your setup isn't listed exactly? You've got a few options here. You can select the closest map. If your exhaust is brand isn't in the list, maybe just pick a map for a similar type of exhaust, another full system, and test it. You can fine tune it later by feel or by installing an auto tune or going to a dynamometer if that's available to you. Next, contact Dinojet. Dinojet's support team can often recommend which map to use or even provide a beta map if your configuration is brand new. Simply send us an email or fill out a tune request form on our site. If you've done extensive work with cams, a high compression pistons, big bore kits, there probably won't be a base map. In that case, book time with a local tuning shop that has a dyno. They'll create a custom map specifically for your machine with those high-end modifications. When selecting a map, also consider fuel type. Some maps are designed for 91 octane pump gas. Others assume even race fuel or E85 ethanol. Running a race fuel map on pump gas can cause knock and detonation. Running pump gas map on a race fuel leaves power on the table. Make sure the fuel in your tank matches the map's assumptions.